All right, this particular spider lost a battle last night with a much larger female. And I've heard that they can go cannibal on each other, and that's true. Now, I think it would be a very interesting thing if we get a better look at these fangs. These are the teeth right there. And boy, this thing took a beating. This is, this is where his eyes used to be. Something just absolute, well, not something, another much larger female. I know right where she is right now, but let's see if we can get a look at the fangs on this thing. And how many people are screaming, going, ew, don't touch it. I almost feel like I'm disrespecting the dead by doing this thing. I really like these poor guys, and it's a shame that he met with a violent, just, you know, violent death that he did, but he sure did. Or she. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm looking for, right there. Well, if you ever wondered when you get bit by one of these, what it looks like. Oh, look at that. It's extremely difficult to look through the camera and do this at the same time. That's the pedipel, I believe that's called. This is extremely delicate. This area right here where the fangs are is very hard. It's like a little nut or a seed of some sort. That's incredibly tough right there. But the rest of it is just, if I were to roll this in my fingers, it would just disappear like dust. There we go. And I do apologize, Mr. Spider. That's a terrible thing to do after you're dead. But Let's take a look at these guys. I know it may be hard to tell how big that is. Let's see. There you go. Put your finger down there. I'm really hoping that this translates to the film the way I'm seeing it in the viewfinder. The depth of field focal point on this is really delicate because I am literally a half an inch away from the front of the camera lens with this right now.
truly impressive little pictures for a spider for a spider. Look at that. And like I said, compared to the rest of the carcass, this is just right now, this is just like there's nothing to it. I guess this is the top of the head. Where all the eyes would have been. That's part of the membrane that would connect the two body segments. And you can see where the eyes would have been shining through. There you go. From the inside of the skull looking out. Two here, two, and what, four across the bottom? Correct me if I'm wrong. Quite the interesting look. Never actually took one like this. Sad to see.